Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's cool video. In this video, I want to show you how you can add sticky video on scroll in WordPress using Elementor. So it would look something like this. So this is a video, you can play it and watch what happens as I scroll through. It stays in a fixed position and it still continues playing. And watch what happens when I scroll back. It's put back into its original position from which you can pause the video and you can also control the video or even when it's in the sticky position. So if you have a watermark on the video, you can also subscribe from here. So that's really cool. This was actually posted by Ben Pines, the CMO of Elementor on the official Elementor group. So how do you achieve this? It's quite easy. And there are a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to show you how you can achieve this by using Elementor Pro. And in another video, I'll show you how you can do that with the free version of Elementor and unlimited elements add-on. So precisely, we're going to achieve this effect. So as I scroll through, you can position this video anywhere you want on the website and we'll make it a fixed video so that it stays right there. Even when we scroll through, it won't change its position unless and until it scrolled back to its original position where it sticks back to its original position. So that's really cool. Let's get into it and see how we can do it. If you watched the sticky header video in which the header shrinks on scroll, you know that when we add or when we make any element sticky under motion effects, it gets a class called element sticky effects, right? So you don't have to turn on scrolling effects when you click on sticky and when you choose either top or bottom, when you scroll through, a new class is added to this particular element, which is made sticky. In this video, we're actually making the video widget itself sticky. So we'll make it sticky top. So as we scroll down, it will become sticky. You can also make it sticky bottom, which would make it sticky when you're scrolling upwards. But we want this behavior as it's commonly found across internet. So I'll select top here. And this is the CSS class, Elementor Sticky FX. If you've watched the sticky header tutorial, you'll know that this is the class added when the element turns sticky. Don't worry, I'll leave the entire code, I'll explain each and everything. So effectively, what we're doing is that when the elementor turns sticky, when this particular video widget turns sticky, we're targeting it using CSS and we're changing width, height and top. These can be any value. So your width can be 500 pixels, your height can be 500 pixels and your top can be 80%, whatever you want. Let's update it. Let's minimize the preview. Again, let's scroll and now you see it. Now the top of the video is 80%. Let's change it to 70%. Let's change it to 65. Now you see the video. It's sticky and it stays right there and when it's scrolled back it's put back into its position let's have a 300 pixels by 300 pixels resolution because that would make this element tiny and won't interfere with other elements on the page and it's also important to use this important tag because otherwise these properties cannot be overridden in the custom CSS here so for each of the values use exclamation and important so that these values will affect the element when it turns sticky so now it would look something like this cool right you can also control it from here when you hover over the watermark you can also subscribe from here let's pause it back and that's it that's how you make a sticky video on scroll it's quite easy right all we did was target the element when it turns sticky and we added these three properties which are width height and top you can give any value for this for width and height it better be a lesser value and the top value can also be a relative value of course percentage is also a relative value but we don't know how much the viewport would be it can even be lesser than this so it's better to use a vh as the unit so you can make top 65 vh so no matter how much the browser is scaled it would still be in the same position from the top or you can make it maybe 75 VH. So it would always 
be here no matter what so based on your preference you can change this value vh stands for viewport height so vh essentially means one percent of the height of the viewport which in other words means your window or the working area so here viewport is this whole area that you see here excluding this one so it's this whole area that's called viewport you can give any value for it it can even be pixels so you can say 700 pixels that would be a, an, an absolute value as you can see we don't now see the window here let's change it to 300 now you see it it's always better to give a relative value because we don't know how much the window will be scaled so i'll just settle with the 70 vh value i think that looks great again if you want to position this video onto the right instead of the left position just add left property and you can give a value of 60 vh sorry 60 vw so vh stands for viewport height and vw stands for viewport width so no matter how much the viewport is scaled one viewport width is one percent of the width of the viewport so multiply that with 60 times it's calculated dynamically and that value is applied here as you can see now my video is positioned onto the left you can change it to any value 70 would actually make this disappear so it's always advisable to play it safe so 70 vh and 60 vw on left would actually be perfect you can also add important tag here if the thing is not working since it's working you can remove this let's scroll back and there's our video let's scroll back and now we have our video on to the rightmost corner of the page cool right all we did was add this piece of css code and that's all you need to do to make this sticky when you scroll through you can also improve this in terms of user experience because when we scroll through the element suddenly turns sticky and it would not become a good user experience factor so what you can do to make this animation smooth is to actually add a transition all these properties are animatable i've explained css transitions i'll leave a link to that in the description as well so all these elements or all these properties of css are animatable which means you can also apply transitions to all of them which also means that this change in the property can be smooth so all you need to do above the sticky elementor sticky fx class is to type selector we'll just say transition now we'll say 0.4 seconds this is the duration of the transition next we'll just make the transition uh, an ease transition and that's it that would make this you have to type which properties you want to transition since i'm actually transitioning four properties you can include them separated by commas or you can or you can say all and this is the transition duration for all the properties that are basically getting transitioned since we're changing here you can simply say all 0.4 seconds you can change this to any value you want so this will become the duration of your transition you can say ease ease in ease out and other values i'll leave a link to css transitions doc as well so you can check out you can also add a transition delay after this so it can be in seconds so you can maybe add one second delay or whatever now let's see how that would look like see now the transition is smooth and it provides a better user experience so instead of suddenly jumping in size the element is smoothly scrolled and placed on the rightmost corner so that's how you make a sticky header on scroll using elementor pro and nothing else all you need is the video widget itself of course this video can be any video it can be vimeo daily self-hosted video as well whatever it is this is the method i'll leave this css code in the description or you can pause this video and type what i've typed and i've also explained various units make sure you customize them according to your needs so if you want 70 here make sure you have 70 and now when my viewport is scaled you can see that the element is scaled too now i'm scaling my viewport again and see how the element is scaled and repositioned i'll scale it back and see how the element changes its position cool right that's the reason why you should use relative values when you're unsure about the values that you should use so vh again one vh means one percent of viewport height 
viewport height is the area that's visible to the user so whatever on your website is can be seen by the user is called viewport so 70 vh is 70 percent of the viewable height 70 vw is 70 percent of viewport width you can use any values you can use percentage percentage is the amount of width of its container its container is basically a column so it would calculate that whatever right that's it that's how you do it in the upcoming video i'll show you how to do this by using element of free version and a little bit of javascript and by using unlimited elements add-on stay tuned for that hope you guys liked it if you think this is cool make sure you give it a thumbs up and again this was a challenge by ben pines ben challenge accepted that's it for now make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any challenges i'll talk to you in the next video peace Thank you.